the crooked picture in the middle of the night radhika heard footsteps in the corridor she woke up her brother was still fast asleep radhika switched on the light she wondered why she had started rising so early recently maybe the thought of moving out of the house was disturbing her she stared at the framed family photographs on the wall again the photograph of dada and his brother in their graduation robes was hanging crooked radhika and rahul and their parents had always lived in the double storied house near the main shopping area being a central location grandfather had started a restaurant on the ground floor it was doing well but now the roads were being widened and the building was to be demolished the family had been offered a handsome compensation by the government but her father seemed worried what do you think my father's elder brother's grandchildren have learnt about the compensation and have written to me asking for their share they think that this property belonged to the two brothers jointly why my grandfather gave his elder son another piece of land his children my cousins sold that and went abroad my father was given this building and he left it to my sister and me now my cousins are claiming this house show them your father's will they say that the building belonged jointly to both brothers so what weaned is not my father's will but my grandfather's or we'll have to split the compensation then we won't have enough money to buy that place we want to shift the restaurant to radhika knew that if the missing papers were in this house they would have to find them fast because they had 60 days to vacate the house radhika helped her mother to pack i heard papa telling you that we have to find his grandfather's will do you think it will be here we have looked in all the official papers but neither the will nor the title deeds are there even the bank locker had nothing maybe there's a hidden secret space behind one of the cupboards or in the wall where the papers could have been hidden where could papa's dada have kept the papers she thought and thought but no answers came radhika was disturbed again at night feeling that there was someone moving around the room and talking did you come into my room last night no i heard the sound of somebody talking from your room but it stopped so i didn't bother the next night a crash woke radhika she switched on the light and saw that one of the pictures on the wall had fallen and the glass had smashed she collected the glass pieces and hung up the picture again but whenever she looked up the picture was crooked Radhika wondered whether she should go to sleep or revise for her mathematics test. Suddenly, she felt something cool on her arm. The cloth of her night dress moved like someone had touched it. Dada's picture began to swing to and fro on the wall. The other pictures remained still, and there was no breeze to explain the movement. Who is it? What do you want? The movement stopped, but the picture stayed crooked. Radhika grabbed the picture and turned it over. Maybe the will is in here. She dismantled the frame, but there was nothing behind the photograph, but old hard board and a paper padding. She resembled it and hung it back on the wall. You are misleading me. Wills are always hidden in the backs of pictures or in secret drawers. Where is the one I am searching for? She was getting back into bed. when hearing a sound she spun around the picture was swinging again radhika looked hard at the photograph then it struck her mama wasn't dada's brother much older than him mrs shetty sat up in bed why are you up so early what are you talking about radhu ma i have figured it out i thought that the photograph was of the two brothers But just now I realized that both of them are in graduation robes. So one is Dada, but who is the other? Again, she opened the frame, and both of them looked behind the photograph. On it was written in faded black ink, 
राधिका जम्प आउट ऑफ हर चेयर एंड रैन टू हग हर पेरेंट्स आई न्यू इट आई न्यू इट बट हाउ डिड यू नो वट मेड यू पीपल कम टू मी दादा टोल्ड मी 